how do a how do a student end up getting these interviews first of all uh second what do they need to do to clear these interviews like uh, like what are the kind of questions that these people ask uh, what are the different kind of interviews that different companies will have if you can take some examples of different companies that will be great as well sure uh so i'll break that question into multiple parts like what do people need to do uh, in order to get these interviews what do they need to learn what happens in these interviews i'll take both of them separately um in order to get these interviews um best resources if you can actually start proving and under- displaying your research in certain things um giving this example of that linkedin trend which had started where people were writing numbers they just wanted other recruiters uh, to potentially notice them that okay they have done something um to be honest i myself have interviewed at least 5 out of those 50 people who had those videos on within my feed and my feed isn't pretty all the people it's very limited set of people at the end of the day and uh, after interviewing them i realized that they don't understand a whole lot of fun- fundamentals but they caught my eye i knew that okay these guys have tried something they have gone out of their way they have done something let me talk to them and see if they are good recruits the other places there are a whole lot of different job portals which are there where they are allowing you to connect with recruiters like us uh, so we keep on hiring within our company there is always a position out here um if you need to basically join us i'll leave my email id at the bottom of this particular youtube link as well um it's basically jobs at the people mesh.com and uh, if you are looking for a position we are happy to talk with you and take the discussion forward and similarly all companies are looking for people at the end of the day um even though there is covid at this point we are still hiring people people are cutting jobs but we personally are in the market to hire smart engineers there will always be jobs for good machine learning and data scientist engineers at this point and uh, the second question was basically how do i prepare for these interviews and how do bigger corporates actually do it um so uh, if i talk about in terms of the corporates i mainly worked at amazon and snap deal after the acquisition and then i can talk about the startups where i have been a part of um so the interview style that we do within our company is also quite structured based on the fact how amazon did it um so there will be four or five rounds depending on at what level of experience you are at talking about fresh college graduates there'll usually be around four different rounds the very first round is the round computer science fundamentals that's around data structures algorithms if you are able to understand when to use a hash map when to use an array uh, maybe tree as you were saying uh, so understanding what data structure to use when to use it and it will check on your problem solving skills what people call usually algorithms it's not that we are looking for some fancy algorithm that you want to use and you just cite the name oh i'll use xyz algorithm um that doesn't matter the name of the algorithm doesn't matter it is just understanding the application and how do you solve the problem which is there so that's a very first interview round which we have the second interview round kind of builds on the first interview round which was there so usually the first interviewer will sig- give a yellow signal if there is anything a yellow signal basically means that i didn't get a chance to make him write code can you make him write some code or when he was writing code the code wasn't clean um, so do remember when you're writing code in college you tend to use any variable names you can use abc you can create any sort of functions and uh, you'll basically scratch a whole lot do a whole lot of things up and down but when you're writing in an interview it's try to think things through it's not the fastest one to write code will get the job it is the one who thinks things through who asks the right questions and who is able to get the right answer at the end is the one who will basically move forward to the next round um so that is very important a lot of people when they writing code they'll use terrible names and they'll not do a dry run themselves so after you have written the code take one example and just walk through that particular case then take another example and tell talk talk with your interviewer that's very important tell him that okay i'm just running through this example it's fine i'll do a dry run with these values this is running fine um i think i'm done now it's the final thing so talk it out don't if you're getting stuck at any point tell what you're thinking don't just get locked in that so these are some basic interview tips which i can share 
um anyways coming back to the second interview is mainly again building on algorithms and further into the coding piece um not around a whole lot of fundamentals around data structure but whether you can create a class and what will be the things on that particular side and uh, the third interview will be in our case where we want to see how fast you can learn because if you are joining a startup like us or even if you are trying to join amazon we want to see how you think so we might give you a slightly wider problem like i could possibly ask you how will you design let's say an auctioning platform like ebay or i can ask you how would you design maybe uh, amazon recommendations for that matter or how would you basically go ahead and design maybe a communication piece so it could be any slightly wide problem it's thrown at you to see that okay if you don't know the answer to something something how do you break down that particular problem um internally we call it basically how well do you deal with ambiguous problems that's the key thing which you want to see whether you are able to break it down into smaller pieces and then we'll get into maybe system design of things or the machine learning side of things like if i've asked you to design recommendations engine first i want to see what you are going to take as input a lot of people get stuck uh, that they don't even know that okay if i'm designing recommendations for amazon i can pos possibly take like 6 7 different inputs what are people clicking on what are they adding to cart what are they rating reviewing one is the behavior data which is there then i can take into account where is he browsing from there are a whole lot of parameters in terms of where he has launched the website from whether it's a os or what particular machine it is what kind of a network it is then there is insights about that particular customer itself based on his email id you can try to figure out whether he's male female things like that so there are a whole lot of nuances which go into each of these problems try to break it down when you're trying to answer these questions but uh, the third round is basically more of an ambiguous problem and the last one is basically a machine learning problem where we'll try to uh, poke you into a whole lot of different optimizations and try to figure out how things happen so third one also touches on ml piece but to be honest we don't do all the four rounds on machine learning itself because we are not hiring purely for a hardcore data scientist role our roles are a mix of a machine learning engineer who is able to develop the real system as well for new programming updates and videos subscribe to coding ninjas channel